from my Geeks and Beauties group on Facebook. Um, I will list all of their information down below. And basically what we're doing is we are using the Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette in order to create a fall look. So everyone is going to be doing probably a different look than I am, um, but I know a lot of you have said that they wanted me to do more makeup looks using palettes. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to incorporate that back into my channel. Um, and while we are doing a look, uh, we are also going to be doing the fall favorites tag, which I got initially I got from Angela over at Zimsky Girls on YouTube, but she got it from the Jaclyn Hill website. So I will leave her uh, Angela's video where she does the fall favorites tag down below as well. Um, but if you're looking for that, it's on the Jaclyn Hill website. Um, there are some questions that Marshall is going to be able to answer and some, some not. <laughs> um, because it is geared a little more toward beauty, but there is some stuff that you can answer. Okay. Um, so before we jump into the fall tag, I want to kind of show you what I'm going to be using. So this is what it looks like. Um, it has these beautiful, like, neutral, like, lighter shades here. It has, um, like, the darker shades here. All right. As the darker shades here. Um, I have used this palette so many times and I think the only one that I haven't used a lot is this color right here which is called Jammin. Um, but I think actually today I'm going to be using this one as well. Um, it smells like the chocolate palettes with a hint of peanut butter. Go ahead and give a whiff of that. And... Yeah, and as you get closer towards the jelly and Jammin it sort of takes a little bit more of a berry note. Yeah, just, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. So yep. it's like... You have chocolate peanut butter, like a Reese's peanut butter cup, mm. and then a little bit of chocolate and jam. Huh. All right, so this is how I'm going to do this. This one right here is called Spread the Love. It's kind of more of like a peachy tone, and I'm just going to put that all over my, uh, like, my lid from the brow all the way down to the lashes. Oh, and everything I've already used on my face will be down below as well. Then what I'm going to do is put this color, which is peanut butter, and then mix it with this color, which is Nuts About You, in the crease to kind of transition, build it up from like uh, maybe a lighter to a darker in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this color, Peanut Brittle, and then I'm going to put it in the crease on top of it. Uh, more than likely, what I'm going to do is put this color, Jelly. I'm just going to be kind of like you know, out there. And this color jelly is going to go on the lid with a little bit of this rich and creamy one right here, which is going to go on the lid as well. Then this one, which is called uh, extra creamy, is going to go right beneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to use jammin right here. And that is going to go in my lower lash line to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Um, I've used pretty much everything. I might use a little bit of this one peanut butter cup, which has a little shimmer in it, like right in the center of my lid. Um, but I know that's like a lot I just threw at you and I pretty much... We'll be getting back to it as we go. Don't yes. Worry. So basically, let me recap what I'm doing first. I'm going to put Spread the Love on my lid and then peanut butter and nuts about you in my crease. That's the first thing we're gonna do. There you go. So you want All me right. to start up with some questions? Let's start up with some questions. Okay, first question. What is your favorite candle? Uh, Can we also include Max Max melts, wax melts in that? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, what about for you? I know mine is more vanilla and uh, berry flavors, but what's yours? Um, mine, I actually have a couple. Like, if I'm gonna go with a straight up candle, I really love chocolate. Um, mint candles, um, stuff with like buttercream in it, or I like fruity candles. Um, if it's a wax melt, um, I kind of stick to the fruit of it. Uh, I don't know. There's, I've been trying so many lately, but I think I just, I really like fruity scents when it comes to the actual, um, like wax melts, yeah, for sure. I, I think it also kind of depends on which room in the house you're dealing with. Yeah. If you're dealing with the room, you kind of want it to be more of about refreshing. So, like, the berries and the mints do very well for that. But in the main room of the house, you want it to be kind of more open and welcoming. Mm -hmm. So, baked goods kind of work good for that room. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, 
your favorite lip color? Oh, huh, that's hard. It's, that's really hard. Um, but I think right now my favorite lip color is the uh, Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Um, and I, I kind of can't choose between Slay or Swag. Those are my two favorite ones. Um, just because it smells like frosting when you put it on and it smells so good. Like I always forget. I'll put it on and I'll like immediately want to eat it. And um, it stays on for so long and it makes my lips moisturized. I think it's it's one of those because right now I tend to be gravitating to only liquid lipsticks. Um, I do have regular lipsticks but I do a lot of liquid lipsticks now just because I like that they're longer lasting and I can put it on all day and I don't have to worry about it. But um, yeah I think that would be my favorite right now. Uh, as far as what I like seeing, um, typically I like seeing girls with like more towards the berry end of the spectrum. Mm, especially um, for fall, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. especially for fall. Um, just giving it a little bit more feel of something that's all alive rather than something that like goes away from the berry a little bit more towards what was the other end of that red spectrum of the the orangish yellow side. It's and too much can be really bad. Like I'm yeah. not exactly a fan of bright blue or like unnatural. in the lips yeah in the uh, lips. yeah i mean i like i like when people have those but you know i i agree like it's for fall I, I don't know i think i think of it more of as like a the dark blue it's going to be more um like winter mm -hmm. yeah and black you have to build the entire look around yeah exactly yeah but there are some people who pull it off spectacularly i am just not one of those people hmm. i try <laughs> um your favorite drink uh, for the fall, um, I guess I could kind of lump this in with the winter also. Um, st when Starbucks comes out with their like pumpkin spice stuff, I am not that person. Nope. Um, <laughs> not at all. I kind of feel like uh, when it comes to the fall, I tend towards either the peppermint mocha or the salted caramel mocha. Like those are my favorite two Starbucks drinks for coffee. But as far as drinks in general for the fall, I would have to say that I prefer tea. And especially because we've been sick a lot lately, yeah. I would say that uh, peppermint tea is our go-to tea right now. Um, actually year round it really is um i do there's like a tazo tea that i drink in the morning that is like a berry and it's very high in caffeine and like when you do the peppermint tea it doesn't have a lot of caffeine in it so i drink that one one before i go to bed but then this other one yeah in the morning i use that at work what about you uh right now i'm kind of liking the peppermint mocha but i discovered something new at wendy's they have their own brand of cherry cream soda at Wendy's? At Wendy's, what's right it? out of their uh, freestyle machines. What's it called? Yeah, cherry cream soda. Just cherry cream? Well, it's it's Dave's cherry cream soda. Oh, interesting. And it's very sweet. It's a little bit more of a cream soda, but it does have that cherry burst in it. Okay. They have it both regular and diet. So just want, the next step that I'm going to go here is I'm going to take this like really small tapered brush and I'm going to work in here, uh, what did I say? Oh, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do peanut butter cup. So I'm gonna work this one into my crease and then I'm going to put PB&J, oh, extra creamy. I'm gonna put that like right below my um, brow line. Okay. Yes. So then what is your favorite blush? Oh, blush. Yep. <laughs> I was like, bush? Nope, my favorite blush. blush. My favorite blush. Um. Oh, I'm such a dork. Okay, so my favorite blush is, um, I love the balm brushes. Um, basically, any of theirs. I love Hot Mama because Hot Mama is very, actually all of them are kind of good at doubling as eyeshadows and blushes, so you can use it for both. Um, I do like the Hot Mama one. I like Cabana Boy. I think that might be it. Um, there's, I don't know, there's like a couple that I like, and and I really can't go wrong. Oh, Instain, that's one of those. I have Houndstooth Instain um, from the Balm also, and they stay on forever, and I super love those. Um, there's another one called Beach Balm, which I want to get probably during the holidays. Um, but like, since I literally collect the Balm products, it's it's just a kind of a given that I will own it eventually. Um, but yeah, so I guess that could be my my favorite blush. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
I have not really been introduced to blushes as far as like I'm not I'm not well versed enough in them to look at them yeah. and be like, well this is this and this is this. So well, and it's also because we haven't really done it on the channel because a lot of times when I use the bl blushes. I will do it off camera so that it doesn't take as much time on camera. So he hasn't really learned a lot about it. But you know, someday maybe we'll. I know. We'll I know she does a lot of stuff from the ball, and that's that. That is as much as I know. But I don't know. I don't really have any opinions on that. Yet. Right. Okay. So I'm just using extra creamy to blend out the top part right now, and like when I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with the jelly, this purple color, on my lid, and then of course do the. Uh, bananas on top of that to kind of make it a little more creamier and blend it in a little better. What is the next question? Favorite clothing item? Well, it's hard for me because my favorite clothing item really is a hoodie um, or anything with a hood, really. Um, but here in Florida, it's very hard to wear the hoodie because it is hot all the time. Although right now it's really beautiful. It's like yeah. 60 degrees. I mean, I, I love it, but um, if I had to guess my favorite, if I had to, if I had to say my favorite clothing item here now, it probably is leggings. Like I'm really into leggings lately, especially now that like uh, different companies have come out with, you know, leggings like, you know, LuLaRoe has some, and I got some from Old Navy, and apparently Walmart just came out with some which are even though they're like juniors they fit plus size like so well and everyone is raving about them and they're like five bucks and um i do not i personally do not go to walmart especially here because here in orlando the tourists are super crazy at the walmart it's kind of like <sighs> yeah you just don't touch it like uh like yeah the, the foreign tourists it, will load up their carts and it will be crazy so walking we just don't into know. a walmart is kind of like watching piranhas and locusts collide with each other it it kind of is crazy yeah. <laughs> so i just don't go um so i will have to either shop for those online or have somebody get it for me or something um but yeah i would say leggings because i have a lot of like black um, dresses that I can just like jersey dresses that I can just throw on and then I can have the leggings on top And so it kind of gives me a nice like pop of color or like something nerdy down at the bottom And then like I can wear them to work too. So yeah, probably leggings I do like what you're doing with the jelly there because uh -huh. it's, it's a little bit brighter than I oftentimes see you going for the lid mm -hmm. uh, it, it just gives a little bit more life to that. I, oh, I, yeah. I like how that's working. Yeah, and it's not like super purple either, which is nice. Yeah. I think it blends very well. Okay, so after I put the jelly and the um, bananas on top of that, I'm going to go in with, uh, I think, Jammin. This one right here. Um, actually, I might do peanut peanut brittle first. I'm going to put peanut brittle on the bottom just to kind of carry the line of the lid here. And then I'll put a little bit of jam in on the bottom to give it like some sparkle. I'm going to go in with the same like pointed taper brush also. And use that. Next question. Well, I, actually, my, one of my oh, favorite clothing. items. You have you, yeah. yeah I've got me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> trust me, I would have forgotten to. <laughs> um, I actually have this red hoodie that I really like. Um, it, it's because it reminds me of a a jacket I had when I was a child. Uh -huh. um, uh, so I got this red t-shirt material hoodie and it might look a little weird wearing wearing it with shorts, but I could wear it in just about any weather. That's the California style. Like when we were growing mm -hmm. up, it would just be like a hoodie and shorts because yeah. we're from California. But that's kind of worn off in modern mm -hmm. fashion. I actually have one of those two only in pink. Uh, oh. That's funny. There you go. Uh, the next item is favorite fall movie. I have a ton of favorite holiday movies, but fall movies? That's rough. Um, well, okay, so I'll go with, even though Halloween is over, I'll go with, like, favorite Halloween movie, maybe, and that probably is going to be Shaun of the Dead. That's fun. We kind of watch it every year. It's a, it's a classic. A it's a classic. I'm hoping that it's going to be Doctor Strange for me. We haven't seen it yet, but we hope right. to soon. We, we probably will be seeing it soon. <laughs> um, but other than that, I would... Yeah, I like Shaun of the Dead, too. That, yeah. It's a solid It's a solid fall holiday movie. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner on the lid. I've already done mascara, and you can check and see what I used for that below. Um, yeah, I think we're done with the lids. I might actually blend this out just a little bit more. I can see that there's kind of a line, but I'm gonna blend out, just with a clean brush, um, the top part right here. Kim? Uh -huh. What is your fall f favorite fall TV show? Well, this fall. <laughs> my favorite one this fall. Um, yeah, I, it's hard because the last couple of weeks because of the elections and the World Series, there hasn't been a lot of the new shows with new episodes, but this fall we're really enjoying Timeless and Designated Survivor. I think those are the two new fall shows. Um, but as far as like in general, like I don't know if there's like a TV show that is actually like a designated, we watch this in the fall except for Walking Dead. But that's kind of a both times a year thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that that can be designated as fall. What do you think? Um, yeah, Walking Dead is kind of a year-round thing. We're always watching it. Um, out of the two that you had mentioned between Designated Survivor and Timeless, I'm actually a little bit more for Designated Survivor. Um, uh, just, yeah. just because there's a whole bunch of things about Timeless that kind of bug the nerdy side of me as I'm sitting there going, but that logically doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure, because it's a time travel show. So, yeah, you, you have to like watch it with a certain plausibility of yeah, it all. Yeah, you, you have to suspend disbelief and in some cases logic of what you do know of various things. So exactly. Like, um, but otherwise, it's a good show. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last thing I have to do, obviously, is lips. It looks like we have two more questions, which is fine. One of which um, we can skip. But before, no, we can do both. Um, before we do that, I wanted to tell you about this kit that I got from ColourPop. Um, it's called the Out and About Collection, and it has three liquid lipsticks, Viper, Barracuda, and Times Square, which I will, I will basically show you what they all look like. I think I ended up getting these for like $15, which is a deal because these liquid lipsticks, are, I think, are six. So if you were going to buy them separately, it would be 18 but anyway, this is, and I think these are all like really good fall colors. So this is Barracuda. It's really hard to tell from the tube what it's going to look like. So I'm going to swatch each one of them for you. This, I believe, is a darker color. So there is Barracuda. Mine is more of like a mauve purple, but darker. Next, we have Viper. And Viper is a little bit lighter than that. Uh, there seems to be a little bit more lavender in this one. I do like this one a lot. Yeah, these are a lot darker than it looks in the bottle. They usually are. Yeah, and especially on the website, when I look at it, it's really hard to check. So there's Viper. And then this one is basically why I got this kit. It's called Times Square. Um, and I saw a couple swatches of it, but you can tell it's very light. And there's that one. So what I'm going to use is Times Square on my look uh, today. I don't know. Like, I think maybe Viper might be a little too much. I don't know. What do you want? You can check. What well, do you think? Viper is too berry for what you've got going on. Mm -hmm. But I think Barracuda wouldn't be a bad one. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a little dark. Yeah, let's go with Times Square then. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what's the next question? The next question is favorite Thanksgiving food. You can start. Um... So much. Um, probably gonna end up being cranberry relish. That's um, <laughs> yep. that's that's the stuff right there. That uh, like I, my mother would make uh, a huge batch of it, a full mason jar of this stuff, and I would end up eating it from Thanksgiving to Christmas. You uh, would. Yes, by itself sometimes. You it's would. that good. It is that good. There's just a lot of sugar in it. Um, and it's got like orange rinds and things like that. Yeah. Ooh, I really like this color. Yeah. Uh, I think it that is so. really nice fall. Yeah, I like it. All right. So my favorite Thanksgiving food 
is kind of strange. It's kind of one of those things that I don't know if other people have for Thanksgiving in their house, but we always did. Um, and it's creamed corn and it mm -hmm. usually, at least lately, has been my job to make the creamed corn. Um, you need a lot of frozen corn and a lot of heavy cream, but it is so it's, yummy. That is another really good food. It is really good. Um, and it's probably my favorite thing every year. Um, I mean, besides everything else, true, but yeah. I love cream corn. Cream corn is okay. good. All right. Um, yeah, one last one. Favorite Halloween costume? Favorite Halloween costume? I always dress up like Harry Potter. Well, not always, but um, my go-to is Harry Potter because I have like basically a um, tie and I've got the like a scarf and I've got the robe and I've got a wand and I've got a time turner. Like I can be Hermione if I need to be. It's just kind of like my go-to. I, I don't think I, I have a Halloween costume anymore. No, probably I, not. It's been too long. Like, I used to do this black ghost. Like, almost like ghost face without the mask. Just um. a black thing. Um, but I do that in front of our house every year with the candy bowl in front of me, pretending I was audio animatronic and scaring the crap out of the kids. I can't do that anymore. No, he can't. No. No one comes to our door anyway for Halloween, so it's fine. That's really why I can't do it anymore. It's fine with me. Um, yeah, so that is our fall favorites tag. Make sure you check out everyone else down below um, if you're wondering who else is participating. And thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of like makeup looks and things like that, make sure uh, you tell us down below. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, yeah. Until next time. Stay zany. Bye.